all right so this tutorial to me is gonna be pretty dope because it's not like the perfect canvas my man's hairline you you have to keep some length there um you can't cut it like you typically would cut everybody you see here i'm, I'm being careful i'm not putting a lot of pressure because he has his hair grows in so many different directions so many different patterns that at some specific places you got a freehand like i'm doing here you got to pay attention to that you don't want to go um you know the same direction with the clippers because it's just going to patch different parts of the hairline so you know play around with that and make sure it looks like all one length or at least the, to the best ability that you have Follow along with the caption guys in case I miss some stuff, but this is you know We cleared the bulk with the number two guard now We're going with the number one guard open right underneath that and we're using the Andy's masters As you can see here, I closed them I'm going right underneath that. It's a three millimeter or the or the uh, Or the number one guard now we have the number zero guard if you're using was the one sixteenth Right or the 1.5 millimeter and it's about like halfway open and now it's all the way closed and we'll follow underneath that, that. And you can see we're not making any lines we're pretty much just blending it out you know it's, it's definitely a technique i've been using lately that i definitely think you guys should all try out you know there's uh there's like 10 different techniques that i've shown you guys on my youtube channel some people complain that it's that it's confusing some people appreciate it because it gives them options um that's what it's all it's about it's just giving you guys different options and I do most of my lever work now when I have no guard. So from the Andes open with no guard, um, we just close it probably like three times, maybe four at the most, until um, it's completely faded out. And then you can go back, um, fade upwards and cross check. But you guys could see that fade was pretty much good, good to go. And we're doing this. It was quick. It was easy. And we'll do the same thing all the way around. And on this canvas, like I told you guys, on this specific model with his hair, this is not a difficult haircut. This is a difficult haircut to do because you really have to pay attention to his hair growth and hair lengths and hair densities. He's he um I got I, I think I have him locked in for life, man, because he, you know, he's he was the client that sat down the first time and the first thing and these are the words you hate hearing is. I can't find a good barber everybody's messing me up because it, it could either mean he's just super picky and people really aren't messing him him up and he expects miracles or he could be t telling the honest truth and then you feel like damn you know this is gonna be this if i can cut his hair good then he's locked in for life and it makes me feel good that he comes in you know what i mean that he's, he's been coming to me for about a year now so you guys can see we're doing the same exact steps here And, and people always ask me, you know, a lot of people, barbers don't want, you know, picky clients, but picky clients give you the most word of mouth because, first of all, their friends know that they won't go to just anybody. So if they find somebody, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to his barber, you know. You guys saw that I went with the grand a little bit just to um, um, connect above the ridge to uh, the sides of, side of the head. zero guard same steps we did on the first first side all the way around I gotta say the masters are still my favorite clippers to this day feels good it feels good to be using them And no, the masses did not zero gap. I find it difficult to zero gap masses, even if you wanted to. You know, once we're done blending it, um, I'm going back and I'm detailing now. I went through the system, went through it quickly, and now we're just going back. We're detailing. We're trying to, um, you know, spend that extra time that that clients like. Now we'll, put, we'll we'll bald him out, and I'm I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna use the shaver on him. Let's go ahead and lower the beard. We're lowering it to a one all the way open around the goatee area. We will close it uh, because it, it it it's typically more dense the hair, so it looks darker. 
and we're gonna fade the beard in to the sides to make it look like it belongs with the haircut like I think around the mustache area I even take the guard off and I and I just use the blade open um, on the mustache area Yeah, exactly. Yep, I did do that. You can see it, it, it still looks like the same length all the way around on the beard. Here I'm, I'm I was applying some hairspray. And I got some I got some new stuff that somebody gave me at the um, the Motor City Expo. A really cool guy, man, that we linked up and we, you know, we kicked it off the whole show. And uh, he shared some of his product with me and it's it's actually a, a awesome spritz. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use it pretty soon here in one of my videos. It's probably the best spritz I've used so far. But as you can see, I sprayed it. I'm letting it air dry as I'm trimming the beard. So when I go back and line up his hairline, the spritz is set in. It's holding the hair, and we should be able to give it a nice sharp line. And, and I go pretty quickly on the beard when I'm using the trimmers because um, I don't want to add too much extra time using the trimmers because I'm going to follow up with the razor anyways. And you see, I, you notice I switched my trimmers. The the gray trimmers that I have with the 245 sticker on it, they're they're a little bit, uh, they're not so sh as sharp as these are. So I don't feel comfortable using those around sensitive areas like the neckline and stuff. So, you know, I, I won't do it. But I will use these sharper blades, um, you know, around the hairline, because that's typically a more forgiving area. You can see, you know, how sharp they're, they're, they're cutting and that the hairspray that we sprayed um, is helping. All right, now we're using the 245 products. You can get 245.com. It's a shave gel that I formulated, I created. And the straight razor that that I designed and I put together the way I like it. So definitely recommend it. If you want to try it out, you can get it at tune45.com. So the, the cartridge I'm using here obviously is the exposed. Not the super exposed, but it's the exposed cartridge. real quick man if you're watching this on the app and you're getting it you know up to a week in advance before anybody else's shout out to you for subscribing i appreciate you subscribing to the app if you don't know about the app you could download it on uh, the google play store it'll be available soon on the apple store um and pretty much you get all the content about a week in advance up to a week in advance um as short as three days in advance but typically it'll be anywhere between three and seven days in advance and uh, there's also some exclusive content on there that I'll be dropping on a weekly basis. So you guys say I was combing the hair away from the um, hairline just to catch those those loose ends. Make sure it's laying down nicely once I comb it down. And and the corner using the corner of the blade is what helps me in these little tight areas. And then stretching the skin gives me some more space to see what I'm doing. So. And we're, we're cleaning up his eyebrows, but we're not shaping them. We're just cleaning up hairs around it. And here I'm doing some finishing touches. It's a phenomenal client of mine, man. I feel blessed that, that he continues to come and, and see me for a haircut. So I try to take care of him every time. 
I try to be as consistent as possible. I think that's important. Whether you're an you know all right barber or you're you know the best barber, it, it doesn't matter. Like as long as you stay consistent, just stay consistent as possible, man. You guys can see I here. I'm I'm really paying attention to, um, you know the the look of the the hair as opposed to the length of the hair. It's gotta look even. You gotta give the illusion that it's even. So there's a finished product, man. Thank you guys again for watching. As always, I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, all that good stuff, and smash the like button.